Well, it's been more than a week since the gun ban registry in the state of Illinois has been open. Have you filed your paperwork? 217-629-7970. That's the phone number. Love to hear from you. And uh, just your regular general thoughts on this as well. Again, 217-629-7970 is the phone number. I asked Illinois State Police last week uh, what they were going to be doing if uh, they were going to be releasing some of the statistics of who is registering, uh, especially now that we've got uh, a week here in uh, and when they're going to be having that data available. Uh, And they said that they will be publishing some of the statistics uh, and they could be publishing it on their website, isp.illinois.gov slash FOID slash statistics. And if you've seen this website, it's the Illinois State Police, uh, and they break down all the different statistics you may want to know. Uh, but it doesn't look like as of this morning that they have the actual statistics for the gun registry. That's just a little over a week old. Uh, but uh, you've got uh, you know a variety of different statistics here showing there are 2.4 million FOID cards, and it breaks it down per county. Of course, Cook has the most uh, with 731,000 FOID card holders. Uh, looks like DuPage followed. Following up um, with uh, even Will County, uh, 150,000 plus. Uh, then you get uh, some statistics broken down by month and uh, the various you know, number of renewals and so on. And even uh, the issues of uh, you know various CCL statistics, uh, FTIP transfers, how many people have uh, purchased firearms, uh, for instance, and uh, various different types of uh, you know FOID card uh, enforcement uh, reports. Uh, as well as uh, the historical trajectory of all of these different types of data sets. But, again, we have yet to see here if they are indeed going to be uh, releasing that uh, that that numbers on uh, how many people have actually registered their firearms as per the Protect Illinois Communities Act. Uh, But this is still being challenged in the courts. We still have no outcome out of the Seventh Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals. We still have a hearing October 11th that's coming up Wednesday in the Southern District of Illinois about the uh, vagueness issues of the state law. Uh, So are you going to be, you know, uh, essentially filing information, telling state police that you have these weapons, that these firearms that uh, legislators have said are banned. Uh, coming up here in a moment, I'll tell you about some of the things that are being speculated online. Everything from those concerned of possible inflated data that could be released as a way to put pressure on people to, to register their firearms. And even uh, Voodoo Firearms in Manuka uh, sharing a video on Facebook that's uh, been making the rounds and has some people concerned. But of course, I want to get your phone calls at 217-629-7970. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Morning. Hey. Um, just curious, what is the registry supposed to do? Yeah, so uh, and, and, and I, and the governor's been asked this before, uh, and you know, particularly, why do you need these firearms to be registered? Uh, and the, the Democrats who supported this push back and say nobody's coming after your guns. They just say they want to know where they're at, just for safety purposes, I guess. What that got to do with the idea of a legally owned firearm? They're going to register every firearm? Only semi-automatics that are listed in the law, but also you've got every October 1st state police that are going to be updating that list, uh, which could expand or uh, contract, I guess. 99% of firearms are banned by his little law. I don't know if that (laughs) many, but a lot of the— Let's let's see. How about— if you were a true gun owner and had multiple guns for multiple reasons and you knew quite a bit about firearms, you can find something with every firearm yep. that he's trying to ban. Yeah, and, and even down and, to the point. And handguns, not just rifles. Yes. It's handguns, too. They're semi-automatics, essentially. Uh, rifles, shotguns, handguns. If they're semi-automatic, likely they are uh, being labeled by Illinois legislators as assault weapons uh, and therefore on this list that need to be registered if you own them before January 10th. But again, the law is still being challenged in federal court. 
Uh, you also have uh, Tom DeVore still going after the law based on equal protection grounds. Uh, so could there be an injunction between now and the January 1st deadline to register or face criminal uh, charges between a Class A misdemeanor or a Class 3 felony? Uh, so, yeah, what's going to happen there? Uh, Guns Save Life have a, a blog post where they're concerned about the possibility of the uh, registration data being inflated. Uh, they say they have sources that uh, are worried that sometime in December they're going to put out a 78% compliance rate for the gun registration uh, and also speculating that this could be some kind of PSYOP. Uh, Gun Save Life goes on to say that uh, they, they're worried that uh, this could come sometime early December and the governor making the proclamation to uh, register before January 1st as a sort of peer pressure in in, in, in terms that uh, Gun Save Life uh, posts here. Uh, but they actually believe that the actual compliance rate is going to be between 8 and 13 uh, percent. And that's based off of uh, what we've seen in other states where uh, you've got the questions of what exactly that compliance rate is going to be. Uh, but you've got others speculating online. Voodoo Firearms in Manuka, they posted this on social media over the weekend, um, really with concerns about some new data that state police are collecting when it comes to you know firearms transfers and uh, transfers of uh, uh, different types of accessories, but also ammunition transfers. Check this out. All right, we're here tonight with Hi, Joe, and we were just running some uh, information on uh, ammo sales, and we got a little surprise that popped up tonight, didn't we? We did. So, hi, everybody. Just so what, what we found out is we've known for a while, and everybody's kind of known, that they started doing a background check for ammunition. It was originally not supposed to be a background check for ammunition you got a visitor it was mostly supposed to be a background check to verify your foids validity because they don't have ex expiration dates on them anymore so i just had customers two customers come in buy some ammunition and we went through the ammunition process and let me show you what they've done so what they've done is they've changed what used to be you came over here to the firearms and ammunition transfer you went here to the ammunition transfer, and when I scrolled down, I saw, whoa, there's a new new button over here, start weapons accessory transfer. So now they're tracking any of the accessories. So if we have magazines or if we have any, you know, uh, handguards or whatever they are that uh, we're selling, they, that's getting tracked. And then I clicked on the select ammunition transfer, and then this now comes up. This is brand new. So they're now tracking the caliber of the ammunition that you're buying. And why would they do that, Joe? The only reason I can think of that they would want to track the ammunition that you're buying is because if you're not going to register your firearm, but you buy 223, it's going to be pretty obvious that you're buying 223 for an AR. And they're going to want to know why you're buying ammunition for a gun you didn't register. So think wisely, my friends figure out how you're going to do it because they're coming. So obviously right, there's uh, concerns there. Uh, Voodoo uh, Firearms in Manuka um, sharing that video uh, late last week. And it's just some of the uh, speculation and concerns that there are. Uh, and we'll obviously be tracking this as we get closer to January 1st. But also as we watch what happens with the court cases. Because uh, again, I think a lot of people are waiting to see what happens with the court cases and whether or not there's going to be an injunction put in place while this place through the appeals process uh, because you do have the appellate court on the Second Amendment issues. You've got the lower federal courts in the Southern District taking up a vagueness issue. You've still got that Fifth Amendment argument that says that you are not to be forced to uh, you know, incriminate yourself um, as, as some would point to this being uh, something that says 
uh, well, you, you you are forced to incriminate yourself or face uh, you know sanctions, criminal sanctions, uh, by having to register your firearms in the state of Illinois. Uh, so I'll, all of this ebb and flow, and uh, we'll we'll watch and see what happens, and also whether or not uh, they're they're going to be posting on the data uh, website for Illinois State Police uh, the 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 latest numbers if they indeed put those numbers out uh, as to adding to the FOID card statistics. Are they going to add to the number of uh, semi-automatic rifles that are being um, ultimately registered? And just to give you an idea, uh, Illinois State Police did uh, did kind of spell out, uh, and as far as uh, what they're looking for, uh, and that's you know the number of uh, different types of affidavits, uh, which style of affidavit um, they're they're you know style of firearm. Uh, let me pull this up really quick so I can get you uh, precisely the types of data sets they're going to be looking for uh, and uh, spelled out by uh, a state police uh, spokesperson. They're going to look at the, the disclosure for weapons, the number of disclosures, the disclosures for accessories, the disclosures for ammunition, and the number of individual filing disclosures. So that's the numbers that they're set to provide to the public as to what exactly they're going to be looking for uh, on the uh, state police website. Uh, Illinois State Police, just search it, uh, isp.illinois.gov slash FOID slash statistics, and you'll be able to find that. All right, you'll be able to find me anywhere. Just search Bishop on air, and we can connect anytime, on air or off air. Just search X, formerly Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Uh, just search Bishop on air, and we can connect that.